Now, this is a story all about how the UK got flicked, turned upside down. People paid attention to this knob, and that's how I ended up out of a job. I just want to mention I want much more than attention. I have the most gross charisma, and I want to be the next Prime Minister. In wealth and power, born and raised, crushing the poor is how we spend most of our days. We've cut public services across the nation. I told people, blame immigration. Nigel Farage was giving it large, but I was in charge. I've started this farce. I was the one who did something dumb. I promised an EU in-out referendum. Forget Mr Cameron's renegotiation. Personal ambitions are now gaining traction. Desperate for attention. Here's Boris Johnson emerging from his house in North London. And so I say, let's leave the EU, not because I believe it's the right thing to do, but because I see an amazing future for me, though it isn't the good thing for our country. In this campaign, telling lies is that must we put pork pie on the side of a bus. We can dare to assert that leaving won't hurt because people in this country have had enough of experts. But the question is, who do you believe? If you listen to me when I tell you to leave, though you cannot see any white faces, you're not supposed to say this post as racist. It should be clear, leaving is not a good idea. And now that it's here, the result shocked us. I texted the Prime Minister and I said, Dave, I've cocked up. That's not my problem, mate. I'm running away. The rest of my life is one big holiday. As for me, I kept out of the way. That's how I became Prime Minister in May. No free single market access. No more money for the NHS. And yes, you can forget the economy. This policy, Brexit. Brexit means Brexit. And we're making the mess of it.